go. Oh, those group nice. You guys ready for this one? Bulls of the Netherlands. Hurt Nenji's darts review begins right now. It is dart review time. I got a great video for you today. And please don't make me try to pronounce his name again. I did the best I could in the intro. I think the G is silent. I don't know. Pronunciations are tough. Some of these dart players' names, kind of hard for an American, right? But um, yeah, great video nonetheless. And hopefully you guys remember, I was sent four sets of the Bulls darts from their recent launch. I think it was like two months ago now. I've been super busy trying to get caught up. But hopefully you guys remember... I did the Evans uh, review, the Ricky Evans review. I followed that up with the Kim Hybrex review. And uh, today we're doing these. And I tell you what, just warming up here for the last five minutes when I was recording the bullseye, these are by far my favorite. I was throwing them really well. So um, I think I'm going to like them. But as with the other bulls darts from the recent launch, man, kind of a sticker shock. They were on the expensive side. Cheapest, play, cheapest place I know to get them. We'll put a screenshot up here. Double top darts in the UK. They're right around 56 pounds, which that equates to roughly 70 US dollars. However, if you add in that discount code, it's going to bring it down 5%. But still, yeah, I think it's kind of expensive. All their new darts were really on the expensive side. But yeah, that's the cheapest place. I know where to get them. Link down below in the pinned comment will take you over to double top darts. So, um, hey, let's get into it, guys. It should be a pretty good review. And I uh, can't wait to throw these more. That was actually the first time I threw them, the last five minutes. So looking forward to throwing them here in just a bit for the throwing part of the video. So yeah, here we go. All my boxes are dented, by the way. All righty, guys, let me show you this packaging. We'll take a quick peek at the darts and then straight into the stats and dimensions. But yeah, fairly typical cardboard hand case here from Bulls. Although you guys have heard me say this in other videos, but it's nice to see that they put his picture on the packaging. I know there's some companies that will sponsor a player, come out with a set of player darts and not even put the picture on the packaging. Always one of my pet peeves, but yeah, nice to see that here. But you guys didn't come to see the packaging. You came to see these beautiful black titanium coated Look at that, tapered barrels. Those are nice, right? Wow. We've got some extra long points up front, black coated extra long points. And in the back here, look at this. Not one, but two logos. So we got the Bulls logo there. And then on the other side, we have his initials, GN. Now going further back here, we've got the Bulls nylon stems. These are medium, so 48 and a half millimeters, not including the threads. And on the very back, We've got the Signature Series Bulls standard size flights, but I think that is one incredible looking set of darts. But let's roll into the stats and dimensions and take it from there. Here we go. Alrighty, guys, let me hit you with some rotating stats and dimensions here. And I got to say, that is a beautiful set of black titanium coated tapered barrels. But hey, we're going to start with the points like we always do. Nice to see some barrels come with some longer than usual points. These are 35 millimeters, of which... 30 millimeters is sticking out of the front of the barrel. Now, as far as the barrels go, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 52 millimeters even. And the barrel width right here in the middle of the barrel at the widest point, 7 millimeters wide. Now, I unscrewed the stem here and checked out the drill depth. These barrels drilled out kind of shallow at only 8.7 millimeters deep. Now, as far as the match weight goes, these are advertised at 23 grams. I'd like to see the match weight a little bit better here, but hey, as long as the barrels are within one-tenth of a gram, I'm okay with it. So the lightest barrel, 22.96. The next barrel spot on right at 23 grams. And the final barrel, 23.03 grams. So, hey, let's go into the next clip, and I'll tell you all about this grip. All right, guys, let's check out the grip level here on this barrel. And as you see, the vast majority of the barrel, fairly basic, right? I mean, you got these multi-rings there, and then you've got the micro multi-rings. But I guess on the back end of the barrels where it kind of gets interesting here, where the logos are, you've got that indentation. And right in front of this Bulls logo, there's a sharp edge. Although, I mean, it's not that sharp, but if you're gripping on the back end, you're going to feel the indentation and that ridge right in front of that lip right in front of the logos. The micro multi-rings, those aren't that grippy. And then on the very back with this fat multi-ring and three machined rings, yeah, not that grippy back there either. But 
Yeah, overall, I'd say grip level 2.2 on a scale of 1 to 5. Fairly mild overall. And you know what, guys? I have not thrown these darts. I haven't even practiced with them. Just took them out of the box not too long ago. So I think I'm going to throw them just like you see them. So, well, yeah, let's get them on the board and see how I get on with some tapered barrels. I don't review too many of these here on the channel, but should be interesting. Here we go. Okay, guys, let's see how this goes. I just had... Had a pretty good warm up. I, I gotta say, the barrels feel amazing. They really do. The black titanium coating kind of makes the barrels warm to the touch compared to a natural tungsten dart. The stems and flights, though, well, at least the stems, a little bit too long for my liking. I'm seeing a lot of fish tailing. I wish I didn't say I was gonna use this setup, but I did, so we're gonna go with it. But much, much would have preferred an intermediate length stem. But yeah, the darts, like, one dart would go in and lean to the right. Another dart would lean to the left. It was, it was a mess. So just couldn't get a consistent angle of entry into the board. It was strange, but hey, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I throw okay. Now that one was straight. That one as well. We'll take it. Like I said, it was just totally random, so. But I tell you what, on the rare occasion when I do group these tight, man, with this tapered barrel and the long points, wow, they were points touching. As you're about to see here in a couple minutes with the 180 clip, the second dart, I don't know how it got its way in there, but tucked into the left-hand corner, the treble 20. Nice looking 180. The flight was kicking just to the left a bit with that first dart. Hey, I'm gonna take the scores though. I, yeah, I can't, can't complain, can I? 100 and a 140. I do notice though, only after five minutes of warm up, the tops of these flights are taking some serious abuse. I mean, there is a lip on the front, so. Yeah, I would highly recommend you have a specialty point on here because, yeah, I mean, five minutes of use and these flights are just battered. So that always bugs me. You don't have to bash up your flights, especially if you're using those expensive molded flights, right? So as far as the grips go, I would say, you know, middle grip to anywhere in the rear. With a tapered barrel like this, I don't know how you're going to do a front grip. And that one was... Right. Ooh, good throw. We'll um, go with the bullseye. Or the three. <laughs> a little low. Hey, that was a good second dart, though. That's right where I wanted it. So I'm actually having quite a bit of control over the barrels. Because that, that little adjustment right there, they, they honestly, the barrels feel great. I just wish not to sound like a, uh, I'm stuck on repeat, but... Shorter stems always work well for me. Not really short, but just intermediate is good. That was dead straight. I should be able to get right over the top of that. What we got going on there? Well, hold on. More editing, <laughs> third dart saver. We'll take it. I thought the second one was in, so. Just a bit low. Hey, as you see, they're, they're flying pretty good, right? We'll, um, we'll switch up for the last throw. Let's just go around the board, 20s, 19s, 18s. Or no, let's do 20s, 19s, bolts. That's kind of always a good test to see how much control you have over the dart. Oh man, that's perfect. I'd love to fill that up. I said I was going 19s and the bull. Hmm. Mulligan on darts number two and three. Because that first dart, way too perfect. It went in nice and flat. I should be able to go right over the top. Hey, 140. <laughs> 
So yeah, I should have stayed there, but hey, that's the fun of YouTube, right? So uh, yeah, as you see, they're, they're flying good. As much as I complained about the stems, that was actually some pretty good scoring. I can't complain about that. Now we're going to roll into the 180. Again, pay attention to the second dart. I don't know how it's how it worked its way into that left-hand corner. And um, after that, after the 180, we'll do a quick wrap-up. That's it for the video. Enjoy the last clip. Here we go. Well, hey, I pretty much covered the left-hand side of that trouble 20 bed, didn't I? There's the second dart. There's the first. And that be the third. Well, hey, there it is, guys. Great place to end the video. Hope you enjoyed the close-up look and review. If you did, thumbs up. Always appreciate it. But hey, I prefer you leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the darts. Let me know what you thought of this video. So, um... Now comes the time. Oh, hey, before I forget, uh, link down below. It's going to take you over to Double Top Darts, and uh, you can check these out. And uh, don't forget about the discount code FB2023. It's going to save you 5%. So now comes the time of the video where I give these things a recommendation. Not sure if I mentioned it in the video already. They do come in 23, 24, and 25 grams. Yeah, I think I did mention that earlier in the intro. So that's going to cover quite a few players there. I'm not too sure how a tapered barrel is going to work, though, for a recreational dart player. I mean, not a lot of people play with these barrels, but if you like it, you like it. Although, I don't think the vast majority of players are going to gravitate towards a tapered barrel. Then you factor in the price, $70 for these things. I think they're a little bit overpriced. You factor in everything all together. I'm only going to go with a 6.8 out of 10. That's how well I think they're going to work for your average recreational dart player. Now, I will mention this though, if these were in the $50 price range, I probably would go up a full point on the score, 7.8, but yeah, kind of expensive for all the new Bulls releases. So hey, I guess that's it for the video, guys. Um, we will catch you on the next one. See you here in a couple days. Let's see if I can get these things to stick in this firm board. Yeah, later. <laughs> Oh, hey guys, I'm gonna start putting this clip at the end of each video. Now, if you're in the United States for shipping purposes only, and you wanna purchase the set of darts that I just reviewed, or any of the other darts that I reviewed, hit me up. My business email will be in the description box, and um, we can work something out. I'll get the darts shipped out to you right away. I am so done with eBay. The fees that they're charging are just, they're astronomical. So I figure I would do it this way. I'll be able to hook you guys up with better prices. So yeah, hit me up, email down in the description box. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Later.